Hi Dirters, it's Mark here. This is uh, a quick video to show you how the project pages work. Those eagle-eyed people among you will notice this is actually a profile page because this is my own page, but I just wanted to show you where you could create projects. Um, you create it in three places actually. One is by hovering over my profile where you can create a new project. If I click there, I'll show you the form that comes up in order for you to fill out and create your own project. The second place is in what we call the Relate UI. You can create a new project. And thirdly, you can create a new project by clicking on the pill here on the right-hand side on your projects widget. As you join more projects or create more projects, this widget will fill up and you'll be able to tell how many projects you're associated with. Um, and if you click on all projects, you'll be able to see all the projects that you are involved in. You can search for them in the box here, etc. So let me uh, look at a project that I'm an admin of. Um, and I think let's go through to the Clapham Roof Garden, which is something I did when I lived in Clapham. Each project has its name at the top. You've also got the geography underneath. If a geography is clickable, it means that uh, this project is located within a uh, geographical cluster area. So it means the information from the project page will get pushed up to the cluster page, uh, which is all good. Um, well, you've got the Relate UI, uh, which tells you your relationship with the project. So you can see I'm the founder of this project. And it also gives me a list of tasks that I can do, whether that's create a new journal post, an event, invite new members, message uh, people, or also delete the project. If I wanted to edit the project as an admin, I just click on the edit page, and that takes me through to my project form, which you can see here. So let's say I wanted to specify that this is a, an informal, well, actually, I think it's more an individual house. No, it's more, being indecisive here. Let's call it an informal community project. So, so um, that's how you edit your project. At the top here, you'll be able to see uh, the, uh, where the project is located, the type of project, the latest activity, also the details. Uh, each project will describe a bit about itself. If you wanted to invite people to the project, you just click on invite. You can invite your friends, your followers. You can also invite people by email clicking on the right-hand side here. I'm not going to do that now. Now, the project page isn't dissimilar to the profile page, whereby you have a, a number of buttons and um, things that you can do, and the central part, the news feed, gives you an update on what's taking place across that project. So um, let me just run down the left here. Uh, you can see all the people and the followers associated with this project. You can look and see who the founders are, um, which obviously is me, um, but you can see if there are any other administrators who are involved in running the project. Each project has a journal uh, place, just like you do on your own profile page. You can create a new journal. This is where you can blog about what the project is up to and also uh, attach gallery items, i.e. images and so on. There is a project forum. Um, I'm not sure you've got a few forum discussions here, but this is where you can discuss things uh, as a group on various points your project is involved in. Lastly, you'll see if there's an event, it'll be, uh, this box will open and you'll see there's an event listed in there. If you're an administrator and you want to create an event, this is a shortcut here as well. Anyway, so I hope that helps you understand a bit more about projects. Uh, if not, please do contact us and ask us any questions you like. Thanks a lot. Bye.